Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an error saying to please insert the last disk of a multi-volume set. So some computer users might be running into this issue if they have a USB flash drive or something along those lines and you're getting a compressed zip folder error. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the file explorer window. So either open up the file explorer icon down here or alternatively go in the start menu search up file explorer. Then you want to go up to the view tab over the top, left click on it one time. So on the right side here, check mark where it says hidden items. So check mark in there. So now you'd want to go to this PC on the left side here and open up any drives you think have the zip file that you're having the issue with. So go ahead, if there's a zip file, go ahead and locate it at this point. So it would probably be hidden unless you removed the hidden feature. So you can see any files or folders that maybe contain hidden folders. So now you can see any hidden files or folders. You can also try formatting or removing the external drive as well. So if we go back here, let's say you had a USB flash drive or something. You could go right click on it and then left click on format. However, since it's my C drive, I don't have any other drives. I really can't give you guys a great example right here. But just to give you guys an idea, if you do format the drive, it should remove the compressed folder error you're getting. However, please keep in mind that it will remove any files or folders that are stored on that drive. And you can also try reinstalling the USB controllers. So if you click on close, go out of here. If you open up the start menu, type in run. Best match to come back with run. Left click on that one time. Now in this open field, you want to type in DEV. So now you want to open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager. You just want to left click on it one time to open up the actual program. Okay, so in device manager, you want to go underneath the USB or universal serial bus controllers. Expand that. So now you want to right click on the host controller. So you might actually have multiple in here, but you want to just right click on it. Left click on update driver. Search on Mac for updated driver software. Do that for all of them listed in there, and that should be about it. And if you're not finding what you're looking for, like if it's still having an issue, you can actually uninstall the universal serial bosses in here. And then once you restore your computer, they should become reinstalled. That's another way to do it. But I do have this brief tutorial I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.